not only see events like this parade, but many other events is what connects our community and makes us stronger as a whole. Even if you aren't indigenous and you stand with us, we all need to stand together because that's what is most important. Hey, thank you for coming out here to celebrate being indigenous. It made me very happy to see our native youth taking pride in who they are, to using their voice to say, we're indigenous, we're Anishinaabe, we're Lakota. It means so much to me. It, it makes me happy to know that we're moving somewhere when it comes to native youth taking back who we are. And the theme today was empowering, and so our teachers in each classroom kind of teed it up differently about what they want to do with their kids, what does it mean to be empowering, and how do you empower. Some pick love, some pick different leaders. And so I saw every classroom did a little different take on it. That's kind of a nice thing about it. And our parade, the classrooms got to kind of sit and watch their classmates go by and see what each different grades did. Grew up, we did not have Indigenous Peoples Day. Indigenous Peoples Day, it's that sense of inclusion, I think, for our students. It's that sense that their perspective is valid and that it is important that it's being heard. It's important because it's who they are. And so to teach it in school, it, it brings a piece of them to life. It gives them empowerment. It makes them see that they're not invisible. Our diversity as a city is really valuable, but the heritage that our indigenous peoples bring to our city and our state and our nation is incomparable and invaluable. So it's keeping that pride, keeping our strength up, and making sure that we're resilient every single day of the year because every single day is Indigenous Peoples Day. Woo.